using cloud storage with a Plex media server. Here we go. Plex has experimented with this idea in the past before in the form of Plex Cloud. The issue with this is that it acted as a separate Plex server and not part of your current server. So your library will be fragmented. I've been trying to find ways to utilize my 1TB of storage on my OneDrive and here are my findings. Before we start, this method will literally stream data from your cloud storage provider and serve it to your Plex client. So your internet must be robust for this to work effectively. Secondly, we will need a program that doesn't download the entire file from your cloud storage provider but instead be able to stream or download the video part by part so that playback will start almost immediately. So that means the OneDrive desktop application, WebDrive, and mounting OneDrive as a network drive using WebDev are not viable solutions. There are two solutions that I found that work, NetDrive and WriteDrive. Both of them are able to stream the files and open them immediately, unlike the other solutions which take over a minute each to start playing the video files. NetDrive is a paid solution, so that's out of the window, but WriteDrive is free and works pretty well. I've been using it for quite some time now, so let's dive right in. So starting off, go ahead and install the Plex Media Server. After that, log in and set up all your libraries. So now let's go ahead and set up Rye Drive. We'll go to, to Rye Drive's website and just go ahead and download and install the software. Once you're done with the install, you can go ahead and start mounting the drive. So go ahead and open Rye Drive and this window will pop up right here. You want to click add and choose your online storage provider. In this case, I'm going to pick OneDrive and I'm just going to name this Plex Media. You can pick whichever drive letter you want to assign. I'm just going to leave it with uh, Z, but you can choose O or something else if you already have other than word drive assigned. So, it's going to open this window and it's going to ask you to log in. So I'm just going to log in right now. And once you have once you have signed in, this it would say access to OneDrive has been allowed, and this window will pop, will pop up. So you want to make a folder for your Plex Media. In this case, I've already made a test folder here. And this is my test video. You want to make libraries, you want to make folders for your libraries. I'm just going to make two folders for now. Name it movies and TV shows. And we're just going to pretend that this sample clip of a video game recording that I have is going to be a movie. So once I once I double once I open the file, Rye Drive is just gonna stream it directly from oh after this. Rye Drive is gonna stream it directly from OneDrive. As you can see it's gonna start downloading and I can skip ahead and Rye Drive will pick and will download the file. It takes it takes a while because it is streaming, but at least you get more storage. So I'm just going to pause and close that. So let's just say this is the Avengers movie, for example. And let's just drop in movies. So now you want to set up your, uh, your libraries in Plex. So this is the server. I'm just going to open the web interface and set up the libraries. So under under your server here, you go hit plus and you can add the library. I'm gonna add movies and I'm gonna browse for a local folder and I'm I will pick the Z drive because this is the one that we mounted and I'm just gonna find there we go, this this folder. Hit add and add library. So as you can see we found the Avengers uh, movie and Ride Drive it, it's working. And now it's taking it and you should take it and find the find the metadata for the movie in just a few moments. 
Okay, we can go ahead and add our other library for our TV shows. I, I don't have anything in this folder though, so yeah. So, so as you can see, we have added the movie file and it is it is streaming it from OneDrive and it has tagged it successfully. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install and set up a RAM disk. And for this method, I only recommend it if you're using a server, a dedicated server computer for your Plex server. Because uh, it takes up quite a bit of RAM and if you're using it on your main computer, you might run out of RAM and uh, bad things will happen. I'm going to go ahead and install uh, I am this RAM disk. You can use any program you want to create a RAM disk, but I'm going to use this because I'm just familiar with it. So the reason why we want to create a RAM disk is because when Rye Drive streams files from OneDrive, it's going to store the data on your local disk. It's, it's going to create a temporary folder and it's going to store it on your C drive. If you have a hard drive, it's going to be a slow process because um, the hard drive has to write data on top of loading all your Windows print programs and stuff like that. If you have an SSD, it's going to use up write cycles on it and decrease its lifespan. Uh, also, RAM disk is a uh, RAM is insanely fast, so storing data there is good. So for now, we're going to open up the RAM disk configuration, and we're going to select how how big we want it. For now, I'm going to set it to four gigabytes. Um, if you have sixteen gigs of RAM, I would recommend maybe six gigabytes or something like that, and you can allocate memory dynamically. So that means that it's not going to allocate all four gigs immediately when I start when I create this RAM disk it's just going to allocate it only when it's needed so most of the time if your server is um, idle it will not be using much of uh, it will not be using much cache so you want to make a new folder here and I'm just going to call this red RAM disk uh, empty folder and I'm going to open Rye Drive and configure the and configure the ride drive cache to be here. So we want a folder for ride drive cache and for the Plex media server, we can actually have a folder for transcoded video. So that would speed up um, video that has been transcoded and being served to your clients. So under the transcoder directory, we can put in a RAM disk, the a RAM disk folder. So we're going to make a new folder and we're going to just going to call it Plex transcoder load content from image file or folder let's go ahead and click dram this empty folder and we do not want to synchronize as system shutdown so let's let's just let the ram disk be cleared every time the computer restarts but you still load these two folders and then we're going to create our ram disk and it's created uh, it's already done so we go to this PC, we have our RAM disk, which is right here. And we have a temp folder for some reason, but it's okay. For, n for, for Plex, we want to highlight this folder and just dump it here, save changes. For Rye Drive, you want to go ahead and point it to that folder, Rye Drive Cache, and let it reconnect. And we're done. So. Now what's going to happen is it's going to start creating files on the RAM disk and let's just go ahead and test it out. I have Plex over here. Um, let's open this folder here and we're going to just play this video. So Rye Drive is going to download files and it's going to dump it to the RAM disk which is here. You can see files have been created. This file is 21 megabytes. And if you look at the Plex, oh well, it's not transcoding, it's direct play. But if we go ahead and switch switch this to, uh, let's just switch it to something small. So what's going to happen is the Plex media server is going to start transcoding the video. And when that happens, CPU usage will spike and you're going to have files here stream streaming files and it's not going to write on your local disk so thanks guys for watching and if you ever wanted more storage without buying hard drives 
well here you go